good to show the home you like. Cecia Sacaza from the Bronx says for five years now she's lived in a shelter with her daughter. She's a housekeeper and says it's tough to find regular work and find a place to live she can afford. As long as I do my job for me to to get out from the shelter so they can give me an apartment. She's a single mom on a mission to provide for her daughter. Genesis knows what she wants to be when she grows up. A police. Sassy and Genesis are just two of hundreds that pack St. Bart's Outdoor Pavilion Monday. The church transformed into a carnival for kids. <laughs> Thanks to staff and volunteers at Wynn, the largest family shelters and supportive housing provider in New York City. Its CEO and president, Christine Quinn, says it's a wonderful way for these families to have fun and be together. We are growing because that's the need, uh, but we're growing in a way where we make sure that events like this focus on children. Quinn says right now, Wynn provides shelter and services to more than 6,500 New Yorkers on any given night in their 17 shelters all across New York City. She's announcing a newly renovated shelter in the Bronx with about 100 units and right next door more than 200 units of permanent housing. The reality of poverty is a woman and a small child, maybe five or six years old. That woman is working but she doesn't have enough money to pay the rent. Quinn says the need is greater than ever before, and she hopes to create more supportive housing buildings all across New York City. We'll open a brand new shelter, but better than that, in two months or so, we'll break ground on over a 200 unit permanent supportive housing building. We bought the land from the city for a dollar. Back to the fun and games on Park Avenue for eight-year-old Genesis. Her mom says the best is yet to come. She's looking for a job and a permanent home of her own. 